Hey guys, today I'll be doing uh, the unboxing of the igloo 5 cubic foot chest freezer Going into this I uh, had no idea what to expect where uh, size is concerned um, So I decided to do a video um, To help those who are interested in uh, getting one of these and uh, don't have a, a clue what they're gonna be getting like I did um, so yeah here it goes Here I uh, try to remove the plastic until I thought to myself, uh, I might need it. It might be easier to slide the freezer out on the plastic than, um, yeah, if I removed it, it might be a bit difficult to uh, get it out. So um, yeah, just thought it'll slide better with the plastic on it. Well, at least that's what I thought until I looked over and I seen that there was an opening at the bottom of the box right there so that's why they had those um, plastic straps on there to uh, to hold it and so when it was uh, when, it, when it was picked up it wouldn't you know fall out So I, uh, I, I made a mistake um, there, so guys don't do that, um, make it easy for yourself. Also I uh, have a another video coming up soon I'll be unboxing the uh, Ryobi 13 inch push mower so uh, yeah stay tuned for that video and um, don't forget to subscribe right there I just got shocked um, yeah I've been getting that a lot lately uh, but yeah that's the back as you can see and that's what the side looks like um, looks small um, but yeah and that's your logo right there your igloo logo and uh, to the left of it that's your drain plug on the bottom took that out and uh, took me a little bit to get it back in there um, for some reason it was just cross threading um, but uh, it's not a factory fault or anything. It, it was just that was just me. And there's a that's an uh, LED light right there plus your uh, control. <laughs> and that's about it for uh, for that. And again, just showing what the sides look like. And. Uh, yeah, and that's your power cable right there. I also went and got my uh, measuring tape just so I could get a, the measurement on the cord for you guys as well. Because, um, like I said, 
going into this I had no idea what to expect I know I picked a spot in the garage where I wanted to put this but where my outlet was I was curious whether or not you know I have to use extension cords or whatnot or it'll just be long enough to get there but uh works out perfect so yeah um I'll be measuring this um for you guys as you can see I'm doing that right now uh, and it turned out to be uh, six feet was the length on this power cable so just keep that in mind you know, if you decide to go and get one of these Also guys, check out my other videos. I have a video, um, videos of me being on the road as a semi-truck driver and uh, some videos of me just at home, just enjoying my hobby, playing DJ, DJing some music. Um, it's something that I enjoy doing and uh, yeah, in my spare time I just fool around with that and uh, post videos hopefully I can give someone um, a mix to listen to while they're cleaning, exercising or or just at home just chilling or having friends over or on a Friday night you know just vibing to a, you know whatever genre I'll be throwing a lot of different genres on there so also check out those and um, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. Also cooking, yeah, a lot of people like to listen to mixes when they're cooking as well. So go check those out and uh, comment. Let me know what you think. And that's what it looks like on the inside. There's your manual sitting on the bottom and uh, get a small tree right there. Could use that for ice cream or uh, frozen fruits, vegetables, whatever. Also bear in mind guys, this one does not come with the uh, separation uh, cage. Um, I've seen others with that separation cage that goes down right against the, that lid there. But, um, but yeah, this one does not come with it, so keep that in mind.